Hey guys, this is Alex. It's been a while since I've made a video on my channel here, uh, any sort of gaming, but I've been playing Elix recently and I found a bug in the game that I just had to make a video about. Uh, just a fair warning, this will break the economy of the game and make it really easy to purchase items, so if you feel like you want to play the game legitimately or you, you know don't want to break the economy in any way, then just don't, obviously don't do this. Um, Elix is a game that just came out recently, made by Piranha Bytes, same company who made games like Gothic, Risen, uh, those really, really hard uh, RPG type games where there's no hand holding whatsoever, they just throw you into a world, and you're free to do whatever you want, it's like total freedom. Um, I, I love these type of games, and I'm so excited that they released another one. Uh, so to preface all of this, I'm playing on the GOG version of Elix. And so far there hasn't been an update that I know of, so this should still work if you are playing on the base game, just download it from GOG. I'm not sure about the Steam version. Uh, so basically there's a couple things you have to have to start this off. One, you're going to have to have at least one point in the Haggler skill. Uh, this is basically gives you a discount for traders, so if you buy anything, they'll lower the prices for you. So that's the first thing. have to have the Haggler skill uh, to get going. Second thing is you have to have the town of origin unlocked. Now this is a little bit of a spoiler if you haven't gotten here yet. So uh, if you don't want to know about this town or what's going on here, then at this point just either turn the video off or skip to about 30 seconds after this. Uh, origin is a little town you unlock where you basically become the ruler of the town through some quests, and you can upgrade the town by spending some uh, elixir to get certain features. One of the features is a trader here. So. You spend 2,000 Alexit, you get a trader, and then you can buy stuff from him. So this is where the little bug is going to come into play. Uh, specifically for the trader, you're going to talk to him, see what goods what he good? has. Yes. And you're going to go in here and you're going to look for the electronic scrap right here. Now you'll notice that on mine, he has a, a lot of electronic scrap, over 3,000. Normally he'd only have 40, and you'll see why he has that much in a second. And you'll also see up at the top there that I have about 86,000 Alexit at this point in time. So, this is what you do. You're going to start off and you're going to buy however much Alexa, or, uh, electronic scrap he has, which you're going to pay 9 Alexa for it up front, okay? So, we're going to buy that, and then just going to finish the transaction. Just there we go. So, like 30 grand worth of Alexa, or uh, electronic scrap, now we own that. We're going to go back to him. What goods? And this time we're going to go sell, and we're going to sell the electronic scrap we just bought. Now here's the here's the trick is that when you sell it you sell it for one Alexit more than you bought or that, yeah you bought it for so you will always make one Alexit per scrap profit on ev on any electronic scrap you buy from this vendor specifically so we sell that and we went up like what three grand Alexit just by doing that one time now here's the awesome thing about this is that every time you sell the electronic scrap to him it always adds 40 to the base total that he has so if you sell 40 then he'll have 80 then he'll have 120 160 so forth and so on so you're just constantly building up the amount of electronic scrap he has which is in turn going to uh, increase the amount of Alexa you get every time you do this trade so for every 100 electronic scrap you buy you're going to make 100 Alexa basically so you, you buy it for 900, you sell it for 1,000, that's 100. So every 100 that he has, that goes up by 100-fold. And you can just see how, like, you know, now I'm making three grand each time I'm trading him the electronic scrap. Obviously, this breaks the economy of the game. Uh, you have unlimited Alexa. You can do whatever you want with it. You can buy whatever items you want. Um, as far as the economy goes, yes, it breaks it. But the actual flow of the game isn't affected too much because most of the things that you... Uh, have to have to survive like armor and weapons you can't use without stats anyways so regardless if you can buy the items or not you can't even really use them if you don't have the stats to back that up so uh, basically I just use it for healing potions and that sort of thing just to buy the gear that I want so that eventually I can use it uh, it's just a, like I said obviously it's a bug it's not intended to be there like that and if you feel like you don't want to break the economy of the game then you know this isn't for you but for me I just take it as a part of the freedom of these types of games. Like, the game is hard on purpose, It's it's got a lot of uh, difficulty curve to it, and finding something like this just gives me a, that little edge that I need to kind of enjoy the game a little bit more. So for me, it adds enjoyment to the game, but I just thought it was really cool and worth sharing. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if it's cheating, if it's, if it's not cheating. You know, the developers obviously left it in there, so it might be something that they overlooked, or maybe they wanted it in there, you know, you never know. Um, 
But yeah, let me know what you think. I thought it was a cool little uh, little bug that I found, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and it helps you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.